going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So I got back from Aruba last night and it sucks for me because it's like 11 degrees outside, it was 80 degrees there. Um, but th I thought this was a perfect time to show you guys like a grocery haul because typically I buy things like pieces at a time. But since I had like basically no food left, I figured I was picking up most of my things and I could show you what I get. Still, this is not everything because some stuff was frozen in the freezer. I have some bread, broccoli, and a few other things that are in the freezer that I did not have to buy. But for the most part, this is everything that I typically buy at Trader Joe's. Um, also, stop at ShopRite um, just to get a few other random things Trader Joe's doesn't sell. But I'm going to pick everything out of the bag and just show you what I get. Romaine lettuce. I got uh, four bags of this. Uh, cauliflower stir fry. I got a few bags of this as well. Trader Joe's the chili lime chicken burgers. Yes, I'm throwing everything on the floor. I love these potato pancakes from Trader Joe's. If you haven't tried these, go ahead and try them. Put them in the toaster, they're amazing. We got spinach. Um, I use spinach either in salads or in my eggs. Speaking of eggs, I didn't have to buy eggs because I still had eggs and egg whites in the refrigerator. Um, reduced gilt guacamole. I love this on the aforementioned chili lime chicken burgers. Some bananas. Some tomatoes, bananas, I just eat them like bananas, tomatoes, these go in my eggs typically as well. Not gonna throw them on the floor, I'll drop them calmly. Apples. I don't know about you guys, but when I pick apples, it takes me like 20 minutes to find like the perfect one, so obviously I'm not going to drop these on the floor. Um, and that's everything from Trader Joe's. The only thing I normally would get is frozen broccoli, but I already had that. Uh, moving on to ShopRite, I got, I was going to get regular Eggo waffles, but they had these confetti ones, so we got confetti Eggo waffles. Um, and then we also got these butter popcorn rice cakes. I like rice cakes. Um, I don't like getting like the really flavored ones because they have fat and more carbs, and I like them for like a low-carb snack. So the butter popcorn ones actually have the same macros as the regular ones. Because I'm pretty sure they just spread, I can't believe there's not butter on them. But they are very good, so I recommend the butter popcorn rice cakes. And then I just got the Martin slider potato buns. I put the chili lime chicken burgers on it. Um, yeah, so that's everything. The only things that you don't see here, I do get salmon burgers uh, elsewhere. Like I said, broccoli is already there. And... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, that's what I buy at Trader Joe's. Also, I get these water bottles at Trader Joe's. And, uh, that's it. So, if you want to see how I put these things together, that might be more useful. You can go back and look at some of my day of eating videos. I think you might find that more helpful to rather than just seeing the ingredients. But that's really all I buy uh, when I go food shopping for the most part. So, uh, let's go to the workout. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the workout. If you're watching this on the day that it comes out, today is New Year's, so happy New Year to everyone. And just real quick, my ebook will be on sale for New Year's, so if you are interested in getting a copy of it, click the link in the description box and use the code 2018 and that will save you 25% off on the ebook. So this was the last workout for me of the year 2017. Uh, what I decided to do is also my first upper strength workout since I came back from Aruba. Typically when I come back from a vacation, even though I feel refreshed, the first workout back always feels kind of awkward. So what I did this uh, cycle, I did not increase any of the weights. I actually am repeating the cycle that I did before I went away. So you'll, you saw on bench I did 230 pounds. I had already done 230 one week for three reps. Then the next week I did four, then five. So this week I was supposed to go up five pounds on bench and all my other lifts. But I figured everything would feel kind of awkward. So I decided just to repeat the cycle. So I went back to the three reps. Surprisingly though, everything felt very easy to, uh, this week. Um, well, the first two workouts, which I was surprised because not only is it the first week back, but I'm kind of getting sick. So between getting sick and just coming back, that's why I decided to repeat the cycle. I am also in no rush to to make strength gains. I'm kind of happy where I am. I mean, yes, I would like to get stronger, but I'm not trying to do any competitions. I'm really not in any rush, so I'm, I'd rather be safer, focus on form, not get injured. And that was my thought process behind that. 
So here in this workout, I filmed uh, every exercise, not every set. The bench press, I did four sets. Um, the pull-ups, I did five sets. I alternate, I go back and forth. You can call it a super set maybe. I just look at it as like alternating sets rather than sit on the bench in between sets doing nothing, wasting time. I figure I might as well do pull-ups because the pull-ups don't affect the bench press whatsoever, but it does save a lot of time. I do the same thing with the overhead press that you just saw with these pendulum rows. Four sets on the overhead press, three on the pendulum rows. Same concept. Why just stand there after my overhead press is doing nothing when pendulum rows don't take anything away from those and I'm going to be doing them anyway. So might as well save time and I kind of take that approach with all my workouts. As long as the same body part is not being worked in both exercises back to back or one of them is not affecting the other one, you're okay. Like for example, if you're doing pull-ups, I wouldn't do bicep curls in between because then your pull-ups will be affected. But here there's no effect between these uh, exercises. So might as well save the time and that's what I recommend people do. Like I say, I don't really call it a superset. I call it more of like an alternating set. Superset to me kind of implies that you're rushing back and forth for like a, some kind of like cardio purposes. I'm not rushing back and forth. I'm just doing one and then doing the other. Uh, then I moved on to the my favorite incline chest press machine. Three sets of eight reps on this. Alternated that with some cable curls. And afterwards, I just finish off with the same uh, with some tricep pushdowns, uh, alternating with lateral raises. I do three sets on the chest press, three sets on the curls, and then you'll see I do three sets also on the triceps and on the lateral raises, and that is the entire upper strength workout. So today's uh, January 1st, you're gonna see a lot of people at the gym making their New Year's resolutions. It's important to realize that if you fall off track right away, don't, don't just, don't get, don't get discouraged, you have all year um, to get back on track so don't look at new year's as like a the only time you can make a goal you can make a goal any any time you want and just keep that in mind if you ever get discouraged that you think you fell off track because it's just an arbitrary date you could always get in shape whether it's january 1st or march 4th it, it doesn't make a difference so keep that in mind when you see people falling off their goals if you fall off your goals just remember, you don't have to wait a whole year to do it again. It sounds obvious, but a lot of people, for some reason, they think they need to wait a whole year. So that's basically the video. That is pretty much the workout. I appreciate all of you guys who have been following me the last year. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you do like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hoping for some big things in 2018. Hope you guys can uh, join the ride with me. Have a happy new year, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next video.